All right, thank you very much, Brenda. And of course, that uh, story by Brenda there now brings us to our conversation. The government has been big on austerity measures. But uh, Dr. Terry, I just want to bring you into this conversation now. I want you to help us understand, when you look at some of these pronouncements, are they, do they so, uh, transition from just being pronouncement to us seeing being actionable uh, decl declaration by government? Yes, uh, Jimmy, their pronouncement of austerity measures, the only thing is that uh, we rarely realize them because uh, of the political uh, nature of the pronouncements. They, they are made, uh, they are pronounced politically, but when it comes to actualization, sometimes we actually don't see the pronouncement coming to fruition. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, there's a lot of uh, bureaucracies involved in uh, the, uh, the, the actualization of the same. And also, each and every party want to still want uh, whatever had been put as an austerity measure to be done. For example, if you say that uh, we don't take uh, tea in the office, <laughs> so, uh, there is a certain time when that tea will be taken because uh, the person that now wants it is uh, someone... Uh, bigger in the office mm -hmm. yeah so Dr. again the argument has always been much as the, these ministries might implement some of the austerity measures that have been pronounced as pol uh, from a policy standpoint at the end of the day that money can never be realized because it's already budgeted for and and somehow that money will be allocated just not to the functions that it was supposed to go to it's true that uh, when the budget is done, it has already been budget, uh, budgeted for, uh, but then uh, I think, uh, you see, it, 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 even if it doesn't go to where it's supposed to be, yeah. when an austerity measure has been put, uh, the money should actually be, the, the, the accounting officer or the one in charge should ensure that the money is actually, uh, that is saved from austerity measures is used uh, or kept aside, it doesn't really have to go the other way because it was budgeted for. Mm -hmm. mm. So, Doctor, again, we we saw this, and particularly during the Kibaki regime, when government austerity measures were actually implemented, and we saw the number of projects that were being uh, undertaken then by government also growing without our debt burden growing at the same time. Do you foresee a scenario in this government that uh, we'll be able to get to that point? Uh, difficult time will tell uh, because uh, during Kibaki's time, uh, President Kibaki's time, there was a lot of fiscal discipline. Yeah. Something that uh, we, we don't realize uh, today. So it might be a bit uh, difficult to to see this one coming to pass unless uh, there is more, more effort into it, the fiscal discipline that is uh, uh, ensuring that we are actually uh, saying what we do. Mm -hmm. All right, so, and I'm sure maybe we can just touch on this before we take that commercial break. Uh, when you look at the executive's expenditure, does it give you confidence that uh, the fiscal consolidation measures that the government keeps preaching are actually being implemented from the highest office? Uh, the highest office, that is where we begin with. Uh, from the, the highest office, it's like uh, whenever those, uh, uh, those, the, the executive uh, expenditure is done, there is always the hope that uh, when our uh, president goes out, he goes to look for funds, so probably uh, the, 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 the way he source for funds will actually yeah. uh, ac ac account for the expenditures. But then, now when you come back to the ministries and departments, uh, we, we have a lot of expenditure which are being done and mm -hmm. uh, that could have actually been saved or rather uh, that could not, that were not necessary. So there's still a lot of that. And you remember the other day, uh, the deputy president said that uh, some of the ministers were traveling, uh, coming from one airport to the other, changing the, the clothes and going to the other one. We expect to see more of that reality in discipline so that we can actually ensure that the funds are secure. Yeah. So, Dr. Ari, when you look at uh, just last week, we had uh, the prime cabinet secretary out of the country, the president out of the country, the deputy president out of the country. Do you feel they are setting the right example in as far as austerity measures go? 
just like I said before, mm -hmm. there is always the argument that uh, when uh, the presidency is outside, we are going to look for funds. Yeah. Uh, so unless we really verify that uh, the funds have actually come with the trip, uh, that uh, is something else we need probably to establish that it does so. But when we come to these other offices, probably we, will, we also really need to see yeah. what is it uh, that is coming with it. In other words, what's the cost and the benefits of the, of the, of the, of the travels? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Dr. it has been quite an eventful week. Uh, this is the same week that we were told to drill our own oil wells, if you may. Umechimbayako? <laughs> Sina Kisima Jimmy, uh, I am yeah. just uh, hoping that uh, my government takes care of me, <laughs> and I think many Kenyans are actually hoping the same. Uh, Chimba Kisima is a bit difficult. I think uh, some of these things which are being said yeah. uh, need to be rechecked before they are said. And mm -hmm. of course, you have seen that. Uh, a few of the statements have been retracted yeah. uh, owing to the fact that uh, they were having negative implications to the already burdened uh, Kenyan who is going through difficult life. All right, so Dr. you want to take a quick uh, commercial break on that note. When we come back, we'll be looking at some of these uh, issues that have popped up throughout the week. Stay with us. <laughs>